friends here. Um, I wanted to do a really quick video on the brand new Plum Paper Planner, the large ME planner, the one that's eight and a half by 11, the size of a sheet of paper. Please pay no attention to my kitty cat. She loves to lay on my desk and I figure I'll just let her <laughs> lay there as opposed to putting her down, trying to record this, and then you're gonna hear me out and it's just, you gotta pick your battles. So anyway, um, I just want to do a really, really quick video because I wanted to show you this planner. I'm so excited that they made a planner this big. I, in the past, all the planners have been a little bit smaller. And y'all, I am not new to the planner world. I have carried a paper planner before. Paper planners were this cool. I carried Chandler notebooks in high school all four years, and I decorated them with stickers, and I cut out magazine clippings. And puppy paint, the whole nine. I used color-coded pens for my classes, color-coded pens for my extracurricular activities. Same thing in college. Then when I became a mom, I found a full-size planner like this that I loved called um, Time.Mind. But they went out of business. And that is when a neighbor of mine introduced me to the Erin Condren Life Planner, which I have been a loyal and devoted and avid Erin Condren fan for the past seven or eight years. I love the Life Planner. It's beautiful. It's colorful. It's well made, worth every penny, but I always thought it was a little bit small. And so when Plum Paper came out with their large planner, I believe in July of this year, I was thrilled to snag it up. And actually, I not only ordered it, but I ordered it to start in October of this year, three months early, so I can, so this is a 15 month planner, so I can start using it right away, even though this one goes through um, December of this year, I'm gonna start using this one. But I just wanted to show you real quick the differences um, in size, obviously, as you can see, it is much bigger. I love that. Some people like smaller planners. I Bigger is better for me. I like space to write things out, and if you're gonna carry something this big and this packed, what's the difference if it's a little bit bigger, is my opinion. Um, that said, let's just take a peek at it. Um, the covers. The life planner, when you choose a picture, you can do a montage here, you can choose one. The pictures is your actual planner cover. It is the cover. And then there is a decorative page underneath. But with Plum, and I'm new to Plum, there is a protective laminate sheet, very, very thick, that covers your actual cover. And your cover by no means is scrappy material. This is really thick, almost feels like a plastic vinyl material, um, scratch proof, almost like a placemat sort of material, but protected with this sheet. And I love it. I think it's great. Plum has beautiful designs of covers. If you want, you can insert one picture, which I chose to do, or you can put your monogram here, or you can choose no picture at all and just go with the design. There's tons on their website. Just take a look yourself. I will make note that when I did receive this the other day, I did notice there was just a little, this sort of looks like a maybe a, I don't know, got pushed down perhaps to happen in shipping. I'm not sure. At any rate, I am not going to complain about it because y'all, life is way too short for me to complain about this little glitch in the cover of my planner. It doesn't impede the use of my planner. It, uh, I don't even care. You can barely even see it. It just kind of fades in with the gray. So anyway, we're not going to focus on that, but I just thought if somebody paid attention to it, I just thought I would mention that right now, not a big deal to me. Okay, entry page, uh, just put your name, it's got the Plum Paper uh, website on it. And because I ordered three months of 2016 in here, they have given me the full year of the 2016 calendar as well as the 2017 calendar. And then they have this section for special dates and I really like this because it's the entire year here and you can log birthdays, anniversaries, um, you know, trips, etc. big things that are going on that year. I would assimilate it similar to this, the Erin Condren, the, you know, little takeaway calendar. This is attached in your planner with Plum. It's extra with Erin, but either way, I like it. I'll take it. And then the next page, they give you the exact same layout with with blank templates. So you can again put the months and do something else or you can you know, organize it out like uh, perhaps you can do like blog posts, Etsy shop, you know, cleaning, because I'm one of those crazy cleaning people who schedule like those weird cleaning things like vacuuming the lint 
um, out of your dryer for, you know, once every six months or three months or whatever. So anyway, I just thought, excuse me. Yes, you're in the picture. Thank you. Okay. I didn't want that to happen. Anyways. Okay, so for the monthly tabs, this paper is a little bit thicker than the regular paper. I would uh, describe this as scrapbooking paper. Not super thick, but thick enough. Good for a tab. On the back, it has the goals. For each month, you have three goals, some birthdays, some events, things to remember, and I love this line sheet because, y'all, I am on the PTO, I am a room mom, I do a lot with my kiddo schools, and so this is nice when I go to meetings to be able to log and plan what is going on for that particular month for events, or if we're talking about holiday parties, I can bump ahead to December and write notes there, and when December gets here, I've got it right here. So I, I really like the line sheet that they give you before every month, I think that's great. Here is the um, monthly view in this size. These boxes are pretty large. I like the to-do list that they've given you on the side, just like Erin Condren did. They give you the month ahead to look at. Um, for my Erin, I use this as a cleaning schedule. Um, that's what I use my monthly spread, but I don't, I'm not gonna use that in the plum because I ordered the cleaning sheets in here and I will show those to you in a second. But, so I'm not really sure how I'm going to use the monthly yet. Uh, when I do, I can post a video or pictures or whatever um, on my blog and you can see. But I do like the boxes are, are big. So you can, it's enough room to put a lot of information. Now here is the difference between Plum and Erin. And a lot of people, you either love it or hate it. That's what, I, that's what I've read online on social media. And that is how they separate their months. So Plum, plum Paper literally starts every month fresh. So I started this one in October. October starts on a Saturday, but they gave me the entire full week, even though October doesn't start till Saturday. So all of this is September and this is grayed out. So a lot of people use this as free space and people decorate, doodle, to do, whatever. And then your month starts there. So for instance, in November, it starts on a Tuesday and so here's your Monday it's grayed out but you can but if you think oh well how am I gonna write what's on October 31st the last day of October it's in your October daily view so here's the Monday and then everything else for November is grayed out so this gives you a lot of free space I don't know how I'm gonna feel about this um, I have to use it to see to in contrast I'm going to show you so let's look at the, this week. So September 26th through October 2nd. So you're changing months and in plum paper, they're gonna give you the, the grayed out area and start your month fresh. But in Erin Condren, it just flows. So here's the same week. You've got September ending on a Friday and they did their purple and gray color scheme and then they changed your color scheme over to orange for October and it just flows. There's no break, there's no grayed out, there's no free space, it just flows in Erin. And in Plum, it doesn't do that. So again, there are two camps that love or hate. I'm not really sure how I'm gonna feel about that. Um, I'll just have to see. If I don't wanna doodle or use this as free space or whatever, I'll start my month here and just move on. And we'll just see how that goes. And so like I said, every month, um, is laid out like that. One thing I do want to talk about very quickly is the vertical boxes. So I've always been a vertical Erin Condren fan. I never went horizontal or hourly or any of the other options. I just stayed with vertical because I like it. I love the fact that you can individualize and customize these boxes in the Plum Paper Planner. That is awesome to me because I feel like everybody has their own dedicated space Color coding sometimes is just not enough. I really like it. And I chose to do one box for me and my husband, one for my daughter, one for my son, fitness, to-do, meal planning, and then this one I left blank. Normally I would do cleaning or something, but again, I ordered the cleaning pages, which I'll show you in a minute. So I really love this, and it's definitely bolded out so you can see each individual box. I just love that. Using my Erin, one of the things that I realized I didn't love was over time, everything just kind of flows. You know, I put my kid, it takes, you know, allergy drops and then my workouts and 
volunteering and a curriculum, like everything just sort of flowed together. And someone had a dentist appointment, someone else had the soccer game. It's just, it just sort of was sort of hodgepodge where this I feel like is awesome. So even if you don't have your colored pens with you and you need to write in the same color, at least you know whose is what because it's personalized on the side and I think that's awesome. Also the to-do list on the side just like Erin has and this note section which I might use as um, Aaron had like a thankful thought slash quote thing up here in the corner. I like that. I might put that there because I really like that. Okay, each um, color is, is different for the month. It sort of almost looks like an ombre. Like October is sort of a lighter green, November is a darker green, December is a purple, January is really dark purple. I'm noticing that these colors are not seasonal. These are just sort of I don't know what the rhyme or reason is with this, but I know with Erin it is seasonal and I do like that a little better. You know, her February is pink and her November is orange and you know, so I kind of like that. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, this is just sort of plain to me, but that's okay, I can get over that for sure. Um, so let me show you the cleaning sheets. I opted to order one cleaning sheet per month, one page. It was maybe three extra dollars. Don't quote me on that, I'll put the right price. And it's at the end of your month. And they're all the same color, so they're all this olive color. And on the front page it says monthly cleaning and there are bars and you can you know fill it in. And it has or um, categories, kitchen and dining, living room, bedroom, bathrooms, office, bonus room. And then on this side it's completely blank so you can write whatever you want, which is great because I obviously have other rooms in the house that don't fall in these categories and I also like to do um, like deep cleaning, say I need to change the filter in the fridge, you know, kitty litter stuff, you know, I, I just like to log all of that separately and so it's nice to have that opportunity and then it's nice to reference back what you did before so you know what am I supposed to do this month, it's just nice. I highly recommend these pages if you don't have them. You can get more than one, you can get two or three sheets per month, the price varies, you're going to have to look. But also FYI, the more extras you add to your planner, the more it can delay the shipping. So just so you know about that. Okay, so let's, um, here, you just go through, and this is just, the planner just goes through the entire year. And one thing I also added on at the end as an extra are notes, extra notes section. I'm not sure how much they give you for standard because this is my first plum planner. But I ordered 20 sheets of just lined notes like this. And it's great because, like I said, I go to a lot of meetings. I like to log a lot of stuff in here. My kids' schedules for school I like to keep in here. I like to try to keep as much information in one location as possible. So I wanted all these extra sheets, which is great. Um, I highly recommend, again, it was a few extra dollars for 20 sheets. Then you can have 30, 40, 50. It goes up. You can pack in this planner if you wanted to on Plum. They have a lot of add-ins, which is really nice. After all of the notes sections, they did put two uh, dotted sheets. I'm not really sure what these are. These remind me of the little box game you could play at the restaurant when you're waiting for your food, but this would be like four days worth of box games because there's like a million dots in here. But, you know, two extra little dotted pages. And then they have a password sheet, which I do not use because I have my own separate password binder, and a contact sheet. Again, I have my own. I actually have the Erin Condren address book, which I love, so I don't. I won't be using these, but I do know Plum offers these also as extras if you need more sheets of this and that. Um, has the holidays in here, and the 2018 calendar for next year, and then here is their um, pocket folder. I will say right away, comparing it to the Erin Condren, Erin's is definitely higher quality. It feels thicker, more waxier. This just feels kind of like scrapbook paper to me. I'm fearful of, because it doesn't have such a huge, it's, it's very small down here. I'm afraid if I pack this too much, it will easily just pull away. Um, so I'm not really sure how I'm gonna use this yet. As you can see, I really like to stuff stickers and such in my Erin. And I love, love, love this thing. So Plum doesn't have this. It might be an extra, I don't know. If it was, I didn't order it. But I've seen videos or heard of people taking this off carefully, like sort of slitting the ends over here and then inserting it in the back of the Plum. And I might just attempt to do that because I really, really, really like this. And I, I like just 
keeping things. You know, I have labels that I make for my Etsy shop. I have stickers. I just, I like to keep all this together in the planner. So I might do this. Another option I was thinking of is, you know, back to school ended already, but you can buy those pencil pouches that they sell for the three ring binder that is much bigger. It's probably more this size. And maybe you can, again, sort of cut it and sort of fit it and adhere it or do something to, you know, fit it in here, or carry it so you just have some extra storage um, back here. And then again, the back cover is great quality. And then the back um, laminated sheet also just to make the planner complete. So anyways, I will post more upcoming videos or blog posts in the future once I get this populated and start using this. I also do make labels and stickers and printables and um, templates on my Etsy shop too. I can put a link um, I did for Erin. So I'll measure them out and start doing them for this because obviously this is going to be a different size. And anyway, just wanted to share this with y'all. I hope that you enjoyed this video and maybe helped you make a decision um, on whether or not you wanted to stick with your Erin or go with your plum paper. And I am just literally in the last two days, I saw somebody was polling, I think it was actually Erin Conran put a poll up about perhaps doing a bigger planner for personal planning, not teacher planning. That would be this size. And if so, that would be great. I don't know. I'm glad I kind of got the plum. I've always wanted to try plum because I've heard they're very comparable. So at the end of the day, at the end of the year, if I want to go back to Erin and she does have a bigger size, I might do that or I might just stick with plum. Either way, um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video super helpful. Comment below and I will put my blog link and my Etsy shop link, Instagram, all those fun links if you want to follow me on social media. I appreciate you all watching. Have a great day. Bye.